Men. Um, good morning uh, for the Glomcon community and happy uh, Sunday. I know uh, this spans over several time zones. So uh, wherever you are, good day. Um, uh, it gives me uh, a, my name is Kasim Safa. I'm one of the uh, Glomcon moderators. It gave me a great pleasure today to introduce Dr. Uh, Jamil uh, Azzi uh, to give us a talk on uh, why do we reject a kidney tra a tr a transplant in general? Dr. Azzi, welcome to Glomcon and thank you for uh, being with us. Yeah, thank you very much, Kasim. Thank you uh, for your kind words and uh, thank you for having me. Uh, and I want to say kudos for Glomcon. I mean, I, you're bringing people and the transplant uh, community from all over the world. and uh, But also, I think uh, how much you're teaching fellows. And uh, I know from my fellows how much they enjoy Glomcon. So thank you very much for all these efforts. Thank you. Um, so I have a few uh, disclosures just because I'm going to talk a little bit about some science at the end. Um, uh, but also I have another uh, disclaimer that this talk is more geared toward fellows and uh, general nephrologists. But, um, but also I'm going to talk a little bit about some, uh, some science that is being translated to the clinic and some already in the clinic. So I, I, you know, I hope that also will interest uh, the transplant professionals in the group. Um, and this is this is my work. If I have time at the end, we'll talk about it. Uh, and then, so what we'll try to achieve today is to talk about some basic concept of immun immunology that explain what we do uh, in the clinic. And for the fellows, I really advise you to go back to the basics. Uh, so this is not only for the scientists. This is for, uh, will we'll only make you better clinicians if you understand uh, the basic of immunology and transplantation. And the reason is a lot of what we do uh, in the clinic is really based on our understanding of biology uh, rather than uh, evidence-based. So where do we start? Um, you know, we start with the, the idea that the immune system divides into two big arms, the adaptive immunity and the innate immunity. The adaptive immunity, those are the T and the B cells. And those are uh, cells that have receptors on their surface. And those receptors allow them to, rec to recognize specific antigen and only react to those antigens. So very specific. The adaptive immunity is very specific, geared toward specific antigens. And when we talk about the T cells, those are the CD4 and the CD8 cells. The CD8 cells, when they recognize an antigen, they attack right away, and they have the machinery to kill target cells. The CD4 cells are more the, you know, the helper cells. They, they don't kill cells, but they secrete cytokine and chemokine to mobilize the rest of the immune system and attract them to the uh, area of interest. So they really the headquarter of, of, of the whole process in immunology. And the T cells are, are, are special because they are generated in the bone marrow, but they, they mature in the thymus, and they mature in the thymus by acquiring this T cell receptor. Every few T cells share one T cell receptor that recognizes only one antigen, and this is called a clone of T cells. And when we were born, we were born with a billion of those clones. Each clone recognized a specific antigen. So if you have an infection, only the clone that recognizes a specific antigen uh, from this infection get activated. The rest of the billion clones at, are at rest. And the same thing happened in transplantation. So uh, not all the billion clone of T cells uh, go after uh, the allograft, only the clone that recognize allo antigens uh, on the graft get mobilized. So what do we do currently? We currently use medication that suppress the whole billion clones. And this is why our patient develop infections, develop malignancy, and you know develop malignancy because the, the one of the major role of uh, T cells is basically to identify de novo protein forming on cancer cells, and they attack those uh, uh, cancer cells and eliminate them. So this is why I always say that you know this immune um, uh, uh, this this basically this field is still at its infancy until we start developing antigen specific therapy therapy that target the specific clones that are attacking the graft and leaving the rest of the uh, clones intact and this is how we really we will improve the outcome of our patients. 
And another concept to understand from that that.